So what the goal for this thing is, is first we need to get it on wheels because everything in the shop has to have wheels. What we have to do, I don't have a whole lot of space left in here to take this green, move it right and to take the little table with the electronics. <laughs> All right, here's what we're doing. Now I want to make a little bench up. Here. So here the power supply will live and here will be two doors, which will swing open kind of like that. Yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Let's go. Measure once, cut twice. A little project update here. I completely fucked up cutting the panels here. I had to go get some more from the house. We got that all fixed, got them recut, now it's all good. Uh, on the front here we put some chestnut edge trim all around the whole thing. Then we had the door. Originally the door was going to be a one single door that kind of lifts up and slides in. I made that, it didn't really work, I didn't like it, so cut it in half, put this 
edging all around it and got it on these hinges. These hinges, as you can see, are also not ideal or very nice. So I've got a different hinge that's going to go here inside and hopefully that'll all work. And then building all the stuff in the middle, in the middle on the inside there. So setting everything up, I've got already a few tools. I have to also mount this light here. Then I've got some tools selected for what's going to live in there. Um, then we can put everything in, make some little, yeah, you'll see. There we go guys it's so it's kind of a living object so it's gonna always change a little bit it's not 100 percent finished but got a little tour here so on the left here we've got various pokey bits roach clips scissors tweezers pencil then zip ties different sizes corner we've got some little uh, electronics components resistors and at the bottom some other various stuff heat shrink um, the midatorial calipers down here soldering iron it's unfortunately a american one so it's um, 120 volt my transformer's on the other side of the shop so i've got to figure out how to get 120 over here and if we move this way up at the top i put a power strip so i can have some power here we've got a light and I've built this little rack for the various hand tools. So here we've got some strippers, side cutters, needle nose pliers, chisel nose pliers, crimp tool, crimp tool, crimp tool, automatic stripper, other automatic stripper combination thing. There's a few stuff here that I didn't yet find a place for. So the, um, down here, I think I'll keep the breadboard. And over here on the other door, there we go. On the other door, I've got stranded wire at the top, solid core wire at the bottom, and mini screwdrivers over there. At the top, we have the power supply here. And the rest, there's a couple of boxes of electronics components up there, but mostly the rest is yeah, drill bits, glue, nails, stuff like that. 
and that will do it. Ciao!